This brand is going to get the most amount of my money in 2024. I know that and it's only February. Welcome back everyone. Today's video is going to be a new makeup releases. This is my Will I Buy It series that I post whenever I feel like talking about new makeup releases, chatting over some of the products that are going to be coming out soon or have recently launched, talking about what I'm planning to pick up, what I am not so interested in, or some items that I also got in PR that I'm excited about. I will link my makeup down below. This Get Ready With Me will be coming. I usually post a Get Ready With Me on Friday, so this will be my next Get Ready With Me, so stay tuned for that. And Let's jump into it. I'm going to be reading off of Trend Mood, so I will have that Instagram page linked in my description box as well. And again, I don't do these on a super regular basis anymore. I did them every single Wednesday for like six years or something like that, and now I just do them whenever I feel like it because I have been trying to be more on a low buy when it comes to makeup, even though there's one brand in particular that we'll be talking about in today's video that's determined to take all of my money this year. But I felt like we had some fun new releases that were starting to stack up, so I wanted to come on and share this video. I do see a few different uh, lip products that are coming out. One is from House Labs. I guess I could scoot over so I can put in some photo. But one is from House Labs. This is their new PhD Hybrid Lip Glaze. Skincare infused lip plumping glaze burn free. That's that's nice. Hydration of a lip oil, the cushion of a balm, a volumizing effect of a plumper, and the high shine of a gloss. There's going to be six shades, and these are going to be $26 each. Honestly, these sound intriguing. I'll say, I know that I've mentioned in some of my videos, I, I, I feel like I've been keeping YouTube primarily beauty focused as I try to sit like a bird on a perch on this bar stool and not fall off. I just saw Ashley drive by. Hi girl, where are you going? But I have talked for a while about, you know, kind of cutting back on um, some beauty content and focusing more on lifestyle, on travel. I do a lot of events and event planning even. Um, so sharing more of that, I definitely feel like I've been transitioning my Instagram more. My TikTok has always been all over the place. You never know what you're gonna get from me over there. YouTube, I do feel like I've been keeping it pretty consistent when it comes to beauty content. I try to decide what it is, if I'm even going to stay in content creation, if I'm going to stay with beauty, if I'm going to go to lifestyle, like all the things. The one thing that I always keep coming back to with beauty, especially on my Instagram, is always lip videos. I love lip videos. I love doing lip combos. I love doing lip swatching videos. I had a couple of collections that have come out, like Lawless just sent over a lip collection. Um, I'm wearing one of the new Tower 28 juice bombs today. And I'm like, these, like, I just want to, like, just keep filming lip videos. That's it. That's, all, that's like, that's, like, all I want to do. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's as interested in lip videos as I am, but I feel like that's, like, where I want to put my money right now is lip products. Um, that's where I want to, like, create the content is around lip products. So I don't know what anyone thinks of that, but I feel like, especially for my Instagram, it's, like, lifestyle, it's Vegas, it's events, it's fashion, and then it's lip video, and then a lip video, and then a lip video. <laughs> like, that's how I keep sneaking beauty in over on Instagram, but I don't know, I'd love to know what you guys think about that because I just find myself really gravitating towards lip videos right now. But I see these from House Labs and it instantly, like, I just feel like I just want to try them out just to, just to test them out. Like, you know, at the end of the year where I do the eyeshadow palette ranking videos, I feel like I'm going to do it for lip products this year because I'm going to have so many more lip products than I am going to have eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. Might want to start keeping track of all of those lip products starting um, right now. So that's good to know. But I don't know something about these ones from House Labs. I'm interested in picking them up. I do have a little bit of a Sephora cart going right now. Like I just made an Ulta Beauty purchase not that long ago. You know what was so funny? I'm so off track in this video, but that's how I usually am. I got an email alert the other day and it was like, check your credit. Like you've had activity on a dormant account. And I was like, oh my gosh, like who got one of my credit cards? It was my Ulta Beauty credit card. I haven't made a purchase in Ulta Beauty in so long that when I put it on my Ulta Beauty credit card, it dinged my like, is this you? And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. So cause I bought the Dior blush and what else? I bought something else from Ulta Beauty. Um, but yeah, it literally, alerted me because it thought it was fraud because I haven't placed an order from Alta in so long. But I do have a little Sephora cart going and I might throw in one of these from House Labs just because I feel like I'm on quite a lip kit. Kick. Who? A lip kick right now. 
Speaking of lips, we also have some new ones from Merit. This is the Signature Lip Lightweight Matte Lipstick. A lightweight, soft matte lipstick that has a non-drying formula for buildable color. It feels like nothing on the lips. There's hyaluronic acid, sesame seed extract. There's 20, uh, they're going to be $26. Should be available now at Sephora. Like, is my Sephora haul going to be all lip products? Like, it could be. But I really like the Merit Signature lips i think that's just what they were called right and those were more of like a like i would describe those more as like a tinted lip balm where this one is supposed to be a matte lipstick but lightweight like i'm just interested like what's what makes it so lightweight you know what i mean i feel like i should test it out for you and find out like if i'm going to be buying anything this year i want it to be lip products Am I going to only buy lip products this year? No, but if I could be buying one thing, it would be lip products. I think we caught that when I did, um, was it my lipstick collection maybe? Or my lip declutter and like I couldn't get rid of anything. Like I, it's just me and lip products right now are just, we're seeing each other. We're getting serious. We're past the talking stage. What's, I don't know what I'm talking about. What's past the talking stage? Is there... Guys, I'm trying to understand the world of dating, okay? And turns out I don't know anything. Turns out I don't know shit about dating, <laughs> but I'm trying. I was trying to teach my mom the lingo the other day, but I didn't even know what I was talking about. So we're just two confused women who haven't dated in a long time trying to talk to each other about dating. It didn't work out the best. These to me look very interesting. And because I like um, Slip is the shade that I have uh, from Merit, like I feel like I kind of want to try one of these just for scientific purposes. I mentioned Lawless had some new products as well. We have new shades in the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lime Smoothing Tinted Lip Balm. These are $26. And also the Lime Smoothing Gloss, also $26. I have been wearing Maple Sugar, which is described as a warm truffle. I've been wearing this nonstop. I got the package in, I immediately opened it, and I was like, yes, speaking my language. So again, I think we had, what is it? One, two, three three new lipsticks and then two glosses that came out would you like to see just like a little short form lip swatching video on these i could definitely do that i like the well i like them both i like the glosses a little bit more than the tinted lip balms but i like them both like i, I like them all so um let me know if you want to see a lip swatching video on these but i just grabbed out maple sugar immediately i love the lawless glosses um, I've actually gone through a full gloss, which is very rare for me to do. So that's how you know I really love those. So again, they're available now at Sephora and they are $26. And then, like I mentioned too, Tower 28 came out with these juice balms. So I just got these today. I did a try to get ready with me and then I used the shade uh, Mix is the nude that I used. And I do have some swatches. I have a short form video with some of the, um, I just did hand swatches, but I do want to do, I'm, I'm thinking maybe after I finish filming this, I'm going to wipe this off and I'm going to do um, some lip swatches for these. So really excited about these. Let me check the price on these ones from Tower 28. These are only $16. What? That's not bad. So these are more of just the tinted lip balm, but they're very comfortable. And I feel like these are going to be really nice personal bees for warm weather. Listen, Listen, I saw someone say today that we're in false spring in Las Vegas and I refuse to believe it. Like I feel like it's spring is here, okay? I'm trying to think it said like the different seasons that we have and we have like first spring and then we have like cold weather again, then we have a second spring, then we have cold weather again, then we have false spring and it was like you are here and I was like no, I refuse. Like I can't believe it. This year is already flying by. I believe it's almost March. I'm trying to plan my birthday party for next month. Like I can't believe it, but I am ready for warm weather. I'm ready for sunshine. I'm ready for pool days. And I feel like these from Tower 28 are going to make great purse lippies for the warm weather. And they're only $16. That LYS is coming out with their higher standard cream glow blush sticks. Okay, creamy blush stick instantly brings a flush of color to the cheeks with an illuminating finish. Supposed to be lightweight, easy to blend, instant pop of color, dewy, ultra creamy formula. These are going to be $20 each, okay? So, 
right now i'm more into powder bronzers and also blushes which is funny because i used a cream bronzer and a cream blush in today's get ready with me but i'm still leaning more towards powder right now so i like lys and i do like quite a few of their products but for a cream blush stick it's just not really going to be like what i'm reaching for the most right now and then kind of along those lines glossier is coming out with their cloud paint bronzers so we have the cloud paint blushes already from glons from Glossier, and now they're coming out with the bronzers, a collection of seamless cheek colors, bronzer shades, inspired by Golden Hour Sunset, so natural, it's like your skin made it. It's kind of Glossier, it's kind of like the no makeup makeup type vibes. Easy to wear and apply, each shade is sheer enough to blend and layer without going overboard. These are gonna be $22 each. Um, Glossier, you can also find at Sephora as well. Again, just not what I'm gravitating towards right now. Again, maybe like when the warm weather comes, maybe I'll like switch it all up, maybe I'll wanna do completely different makeup styles but as of right now i'm just wearing powder more so these wouldn't make a good purchase for me i also see we have some new shades of glosses and blushes from patrick ta beauty the major headlines double take cream and powder blush duo 38 dollars, and also the major volume rich plumping lip gloss 26 dollars. this is a new richly pigmented formula balmy hydrating instant and long-term plumping actives give the appearance of fuller powdier more voluminous lips Okay, so the blush duos I'm not so interested in. I purchased one of these from Patrick Ta. I thought it was fine. Not necessarily a favorite. I've gone on to declutter them. But for the new uh, glosses that are coming out, I will say that obviously a lot of lip products, like I already said I want to get the Merit, the House Labs. I have the ones from Lawless. I have the Tower 28. I recently made some purchases from Natasha Denona. I still do want to grab a red Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that's also in my Sephora card as well. She just launched a line of reds. The new ones from Milk Makeup I've really been enjoying. But for whatever reason, I'm these ones were like not giving me a double take. And I'm not really sure why. I don't know. I mean, because it sounds really nice. Balmy, hydrating. It's going to give me fuller, poutier lips. Like, okay. If you would really want to see me like grab these as well and do like a big comparison lip video or something like that, definitely let me know. But for whatever reason, those are the ones that I was like, meh, like... Maybe I can skip on that lip product. Sometimes you just gotta like go with your gut, right? I mean, it's lipstick, it's not that deep, but like, let me know what you think about that gloss. <laughs> I see a new concealer coming out from Kali Ray. This is the Hideaway Brightening and Hydrating Under Eye Color Corrector Concealer. Clean, long lasting, lightweight, serum like color corrector, illuminator, and concealer. Quickly brightens and hydrates under eyes to conceal dark circles. Light to medium buildable formula. This is going to be $28. So actually I do want to try the Fenty Beauty concealer. That is the other one that's in my um, Sephora cart. I, I got an email from Fenty like asking to like shade match and all the things. So I thought I was getting the concealer and then nothing came. And then actually today I got a package from Fenty, but it was mostly Fenty skin. Like it had like a lip mask in there and a lip balm. Had a couple of the glosses in there too, but I was like, it's a very random package. Not that I wasn't excited about it, but I was like, okay. So then I do want to try the Fenty concealer. That's been one that I've been wanting to pick up. So I'm not going to get this one from Cali Ray because I don't feel like I need like too many concealers all at one time. But that is an option and you can also get Cali Ray at Sephora. Some palettes, I see that Nabla is coming out with this palette, which is so beautiful. These purples, like are you joking? This is the forget me not. New shades of glitter and eyeshadows in a matte and, meta and matte and metal finish. Hooey! Like these purple, the mattes, the shimmers, the like this one says purple chunky glitter with indigo electric blue reflex. Like this is so stunning. I love wearing purple. I think purple looks so beautiful on green eyes. Do I absolutely need it? No. And I'm trying not to buy as many eye products right now, but like that is so stunningly beautiful if i was in the market for an eyeshadow palette i feel like that's the one that i would be reaching for because those purples are just pop there's also a garbage truck outside that um i don't think is moving anytime soon like i kept waiting to film because i was like surely it's gonna go away soon and it's just not and then it's just it's just gonna be here i think with us the whole time i don't it's just it's not it's not gonna leave if it's not a garbage truck when i'm filming it's the leaf blowers the leaf blowers the other day just didn't stop it was like two hours and I swear he just stood in the same spot. I was like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but we have a new palette from Pat McGrath. This is available now. The Mothership, uh, five, six, seven, eight, eight, the Mothership 8 Divine Rose to Heart's Desire Edition. 
It's a lot going on. Includes romantic rose inspired hues presented in an elegant gold palette, 10 shades with creamy mattes, molten metallics, and sparkling glitters with a unique shade shifting chromatic. This is an exclusive limited edition gold palette for the low, low price of $150. Listen, I feel like even with all of the lip products that I want to buy right now, I could buy all of them and still be under $150. That is a lot of money for an eyeshadow palette. It is quite beautiful. That chromatic shade is fun. Honestly, I feel like the actual like packaging and like the blue rose and the red and then the gold palette, I feel like all of that is more exciting to me than the actual shades inside. I can't say like, I mean, obviously the chromatic shade kind of like jumps out at you and then there's like that bright pink. Um, I love the second shade. It's like that dusty mauve. Like, that shade I will always swipe right on, but I just, I, no. I wouldn't pay $150 for this, but other people will, and that's fine, because maybe you won't buy 10 lipsticks in one go, and I will. So it's fine. It's each their own. And then finally, we have the brand that is determined to take all of my money this year. But I would also like to say that I called it. I called that this palette would be coming out. I don't know which video of mine it was in, but it was in one of my videos. I remember saying it. This is from Natasha Denona. This is the Hyper Natural Face Palette. Includes eyeshadow, a blush duo, a bronzer contour trio. Features four new Hyper Silk Powder Gel Formula Eyeshadows. A creamy powder, bronzer, and contour trio, the blush duo. This is going to be $62. Will be available February 23rd, also at Sephora and Ulta. If you do get it on the Natasha Denona website, I do have 15% off a discount code over there, which is Samantha March. It used to just be Samantha. It is now Samantha March. If you want to use that code. Otherwise, again, it'll be at Sephora and also at Ulta Beauty. Yes. Yes, I'm going to be getting this. I am an affiliate with Natasha Denona, but we do not get PR. I don't understand it. If anyone from the Natasha team is watching, you should probably give the affiliates PR and let us have it like sooner so we can have swatches and we can have reviews up before it launches. That's just my marketing brain. But this, yes, I will be picking this up. I actually have the Glam Face and Eye Palette in front of me. I've been reaching for this quite a bit. Uh, recently and you have the blush and the highlight and the five eyeshadows and I think it was when I was talking about this palette that I was like if this had you know a bronzer or other face shades instead of just a highlighter like I would love it even more and then boom if this isn't proof that Natasha and I actually do have girls night and I give her all of her ideas for her launches what was it Samantha said in when did I say? I said this on my Ireland trip. So this in Ireland, either in like December of 2023 or January of 2024, which was so long ago when it comes to makeup releases, that I wanted to wear more red lips and bold lips. And then she comes out with the Berry Pop collection. And then I said, I wish the Glam Face and Eye Palette had a bronzer shade in there. And then she comes out with this face palette. You're welcome for these releases. This looks so pretty to me. I, I it's... <clears throat> It's interesting to me that the five eyeshadows are all the sparkly shades, but I also know that you can um, layer with the mattes that you have for the face shades. You know, you can put those on, the, like I'm already thinking like, you know, something really pretty with the blush shades and then putting like the pink topper on top or even the white one in Dreamy. Um, so I feel like there's a lot that you can probably do with the palette. I haven't tried it yet myself, but I will definitely be picking it up. What I say, it's a $62, so I'll be picking this one up. I definitely want to give it a try, um, do all of the swatches for you, let you know my thoughts on it. But this I am really excited for, especially for being so, I'm very on the go. I have a feeling I'll be very on the go this summer. I have a lot of trips planned this summer, which I'm very excited for. And I like to take the glam face and eye because I have the multiple options in here. But this, since I'll have the bronzer, the blushes, and the eyeshadows in here, I have a feeling this could make a really fun travel palette for me coming up. So I'm definitely planning to get it. I would love to know your thoughts on the Natasha Denona palette and all of the other makeup releases. And also just, you know, how you feel about more lip videos. I would love to know. Otherwise, that is it for me in this new makeup releases video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.